Hi, and welcome to another episode of Straight Shooting Outdoors. I'm your host, Adrian Horvath. Today we're going to cover some fanny packs. What you got there, Dad? I shot an Alberta buck. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> nice. cover some fanny packs. Um, I, I use a fanny pack pretty much every time I go hunting. I'm not much of a backpack guy. I don't like an extra thing on my back. I wear a vinyl harness so a backpack over top of that is going to create more sweat on my back. Um, I don't go on huge backpacking trips or huge long trips into the mountains that I need a backpack. I usually just rock a fanny pack with what I need in it and That'll last me for half a day, a couple hours while I'm waiting from the truck till I can get back, stock back up on water, food, whatever else I need. Um, so today we're gonna cover these two fanny packs. Um, I got an Alps Outdoor fanny pack here. And I got a Allen fanny pack. And just plain Jane, this one's cheap. Um, I believe it was $30, brand new. Um, the Alps Outdoors fanny pack was I believe around $80 Canadian. Um, so yeah, again, two, two different price points here. Um, really low end, low, low end price point and higher end price point. I know some people are thinking $80 on a fanny pack, that's, that's insane. Um, well, I'm gonna cover a couple things here today. Um, the, the size of this one is actually really nice. I can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, if you watch the next episode, I'll show you exactly what I carry in my fanny pack and show you what's in there. Um, even this Allen, Allen fanny pack, it's got a good size water bottle holder. It's got quite a few pouches. Uh, one big main pouch, uh, a smaller medium pouch, and even a smaller pouch after that. Another pouch over here for, for even something, something else you want to store over here. Um, I'm actually really surprised at how many pockets this cheaper fanny pack has. Um, the Alps Outdoors fanny pack, same kind of concept. It's got pouches on the actual belt, um, water bottle holder, small pouch in the front, big pouch in the back. Then it also has another pouch in the big pouch where I put my tags and stuff, anything needs to stay waterproof. And a small pouch over here. Um, I keep some wind spray in there, just something small, easy access. Um, and another pocket on this side here. Uh, the buckles are really good on this one here, this Alps Outdoors. I've never had a problem with this coming undone. It's nice and big. You can tell the plastic's not cheap and going to break. It snaps, it locks good, and I can't pull the strap apart when it's around my waist. Um, the zippers on this are really good. good they feel like good quality. Uh, the nice little touch I like is these little zipper, uh, zipper loops, attached zippers. Um, doesn't seem like much, but it's nice when you have gloves on or big uh, mittens for the winter time. You can actually grab a hold of that and pull. Um, this this Allen fanny pack. It's got a uh, rope on here that's tied, so I guess the knots would be would be all right. But I do prefer the loops on here. You can actually grab a hold of it. Um, so little things like that do add up. To me, um, you might not care, you might just think, oh, the rope's good enough. For me, I, I prefer the little loops. Um, the buckle on this on this uh, Allen one seems a little cheaper, but it seems all right. It snaps good together. But the one thing I didn't like about this is that you can pull the, the buckle fairly easy and it comes, as you're walking with it, it'll actually loosen up and come undone 
which is a big no-no in my mind. I don't want it dragging around my ankles. Um, and the support only goes this far too. Just give you a better angle there. And then it's buckle, and it's it's kind of hard on your hips as well. There's no hip comfort like this one, like the Alps Outdoors. This wraps right around your whole waist, uh, prevents rubbing. It's it's a little easier on the body as well. Um, durability wise, they both seem like they are really well made actually. Uh, this this material isn't my favorite. Um, other than the, the buckle and the, the actual strap are the only weak points I would say that this fanny pack has. Uh, the Alps Outdoor, the buckle's good. This doesn't come undone when you're when you're walking with it. It's tight around your waist, good support. Um, definitely worth the $80 that I spent on it. Um, lots of you may be thinking, well, what's, what's the difference? This other fanny pack's $30, right? Um, Material-wise is a big thing when, when hunting. You can think, oh, well, I'll go with the $30 one. That's, that's cheap. It's good enough, right? One big thing you got to think of when you're hunting is sound. You look at this Alps Outdoors, the material it's made out of. When you scratch it, there's not much sound there. When I scratch this $30 Allen fanny pack, when you're crawling through stubble field, trees, grass, you name it, you're gonna, all you're going to hear is this. So for me, I would honestly never buy a fanny pack like this. Um, it's too much noise. Um, this one, I've, I've personally snagged on barbed wire fences, haven't heard a peep out of it, left it, and dragging it through stubble fields. There's no sound there. And if there is, it's very limited sound. It's not as loud as this material. Um, and that's something that people may not think about when they buy a fanny pack. They, new, newbie hunters uh, don't think about that kind of stuff. Or, and it's not their fault, it's just it's something you don't think about. I know I didn't when I first started hunting. But it's a big key thing that, honestly, most people don't think about. And to me, that's big sound is a big thing, right? You want to keep sound down low, like no sound at all. Other than that, that's this episode of Straight Shooting Outdoors. Tune in next time.